Using nuclear fusion as a source of energy has been studied and anticipated for at least 60 years. But last week, Lawrence Livermore fired 192 lasers at a tiny pellet of fuel, creating nuclear fusion and producing more energy than was invested. They called it ignition. Ignition is a first step, a truly monumental one that sets the stage for a transformational decade in high energy density science and fusion research. And I cannot wait to see where it takes us. Fusion takes place when two hydrogen nuclei collide, prompted by very high heat. They fuse and give off energy. It's the same energy produced by our sun. For decades, scientists have gone through the motions of fusing atoms in a lab. But last week, for the first time, they designed this experiment so that the fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited and it produced more energies than the lasers had deposited. Not all fusion is done using lasers. George Tynan, a professor of engineering science at UC San Diego, is researching fusion that uses strong magnetic fields. He says using fusion to produce energy for our homes will require a lot more science and engineering. And he says he's uncomfortable calling fusion the holy grail of clean, abundant energy. I see this as uh, a technology that can play in concert with um, uh, renewable energy, with electrification of the transportation system, electrification of many other parts of the economy. Above all, he says we need to prove that fusion makes sense, both scientifically and economically. Fusion has to then win a place in the marketplace. It's going to be competing with uh, other forms of clean, firm generation. Uh, and uh, it will have to be uh, developed uh, as a cost-effective technology. Um, and, you know, that requires building multiple uh, demonstration and test reactors. Tynan says fusion does produce some radioactive waste, but it has a short half-life, comparable to radioactive waste produced by hospitals. Will we see fusion energy production in our lifetimes? The Biden administration wants to see a fusion demonstration plant within 10 years. Tynan calls that possible, but difficult. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.